No more chest days. Just kidding guys. I'm only training my upper chest right now. Um, it's a decision I made because, I don't know, my lower chest compared to my upper chest was just night and day. Like, it was a huge difference. And I personally felt like my lower chest was good enough for uh, what I wanted, my look that I want. Um, over my lifting career, there's not been one time where I was like, ooh, my chest is small. There's never once been one single time where I thought my chest was small. That being said, I have thought my upper chest needed more development, but my lower chest is just like, there's n like, I don't need, I could not train it for the next like six months and I'll be fine with that. But um, no, actually I just haven't, for the past month, I haven't trained lower chest or just, uh, what would you call that? Medial chest, <laughs> medial chest, like that's a thing. But uh, just like my lower portion of the chest, I have not trained in about a month, a month and a half. I've, stick, I've stuck to upper chest, um, doing all the machines, all the dumbbell work, all the incline, everything incline I've been doing. Except I have been starting out with just flat bench press, but that's all I'll do for uh, my middle portion of the chest. It's all been upper chest. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying it because number one, my upper chest is definitely coming in now and being more proportionate with my lower chest. And number two, I noticed that my lower chest is uh, <laughs> It's gonna be weird. It's like deflated a little bit. It, it's not as it's not as thick as it was before. And honestly, I I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine with it. I've always thought my chest was like my most like developed thing out of my whole body besides my upper chest. And now that I've switched uh, the workouts up for a little bit, my upper chest is coming in great. And I'm fine with my lower chest. I'm going to keep doing it like this until I feel like maybe I'm going to go with my lower chest again. But I just don't feel like I need to. And the look I want, I I don't really, I don't really need the hugest chest out there. Because I, it's, it's, it sounds weird, but like a month or two ago, my shirts, it was just like, like, I, I do wear tighter shirts, but, like, my chest was just, like, overly, like, overly emphasized through the shirts. But now, my upper chest is looking great, and when I, when I wear my shirts, they're fitting right. So, um, yeah, I just thought my chest needed a break for a little bit, um for my upper chest to catch up. So that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna go back to uh, regular, you know, my regular chest days. But, you know, whenever I do decide to go back, it'll probably be the same thing I was doing. Um, I'm not gonna like step it up, like, cause I was off for a long time with my lower chest but um i do i do love doing like decline bench on the smith machine that's like a really like you the pump in your chest is so great but like i i don't need it <laughs> i don't want it so uh yeah that's where i'm at with that right now let me know what you guys think do you think that i should be training my lower chest and my upper chest at the same time upper chest is slowly coming in and my lower chest is slowly losing uh, the huge size it was. So, I mean, that's where I'm at. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the video. I will see you guys next time. Peace.